Hello everyone, this is Kinko IoT. In this video, I will tell you how to change the network mode for the H32B relay controller. Uh, there are three mo work modes of the network, the TCP server, and the UDP, and the TCP client. And the, and the TCP server means the controller is a server work in the local LAN. And the UDP means the controller will connect to our Kinko company's cloud server this cloud server in China. And the TCP client means you can set your own server IP and address. Then the controller will out, out connect to your server when power on. So let's begin and see how to use the buttons to change different work mode. Now we use Ethernet button. Hold on about three seconds. Change to TCP server mode. The yellow LED will be on and then will be off and the controller will be restart. Now we are ready to change to TCP client mode. Also hold down the button about 6 seconds. And the white LED will be on and the controller will be auto started. This is TCP client. Now we're ready to change to UDP work mode. Hold on about 9 seconds. The blue LED will be on. And then we'll be restart the controller and work in UDP work mode connect to our cloud server. This time we will to reset the controller and we hold on about 12 seconds. This means change work mode to UDP and set the IP mode to DHCP. Next, we will set the IP static IP work mode. We hold down about 15 seconds. Then the all LD, the blue, yellow, and the white will all on. Then the work mode is set to TCP server, and IP address is set to static IP. There is a default static IP address. Let's begin set the Wi-Fi. There are also a button set for Wi-Fi. Long time press 3 seconds. The yellow LED will be on. Now the Wi-Fi module is work on the TCP server work mode. You can see the LED is on. And now we set the Wi-Fi to the TCP client mode. Hold on about 6 seconds, we will change to this uh, TCP client mode. We change Wi-Fi to UDP mode. Hold on about 9 seconds, and when the blue LED is on, then it works to UDP work mode. Every time after setting, the controller will be auto-reboot.